Yo, welcome Fronies. So today I want to show you something that I like particular about Throne and Liberty and this is their approach to the mount system. Instead of having like those really boring mounts that you have played the last 20 years in MMOs, you are basically becoming the mount in Throne and Liberty. Just um, let me show you. If you're going into the air, you can transform into the hawk really easy. You can go down in a hawk attack, you can transform in an otter while you are in the water. As soon as you go to land, now you can transform in a bird uh, to run faster. You are basically the mount itself. And there is so many to choose from there and they look amazing. Like, just look at them. Like fucking ancient Tayan here, really nice. Um, you have like different colorings and this is also where the first tip comes in. Make sure that when you are in character creation, you choose your hair color that you like the most cause those mounts will have different fur color based on the hair of your character. As you see right here, I chose that purple and this is the reason why this dude here is purple. Yeah, so Make sure you're choosing what you want to have for a long run. The next thing you need to understand about morphs is how to level them. There is a big, big, big misconception. And I've heard many people say that you are leveling mounts based on how many times you are transforming in a mount. They're basically saying this would give the mount the XP what I'm doing, transforming into the mount and doing it. This is wrong. But what's right is today's sponsor Rogue Energy. Because we all know I have a couple of kilos too much and Rogue Energy is an energy drink with only 5 calories per serving. And if you're going for the hydration one, it's even at zero calories. So it's my energy of choice. You can check it out in the link in the description. And if you use code PONY, you will even get 10% off your next order. You are leveling your mounts based on collecting them. So right here we are seeing how many growth points we are having. We are having 18 out of 30. And when we are going into the dash mounts, we will see that each mount here has a number of growth points attached. And this is the um, experience that you are getting. So by unlocking more mounts, you are getting those bonus effects onto the mounts. And they are not bad, especially for PvP. You do want to have your mounts leveled. Main focus on the running one and the flying one. The water one is not that relevant, but those two are really important to get them leveled. So you have to collect many, many morphs. Then the next thing that is important to note is that there are morphs that are giving additional effect. And those are the ones that are for lava. So you see that turtle right here that I got? It has an additional effect, which means I'm taking no damage when I am swimming in lava. And this is really important for some areas to have those. So I highly recommend getting one of those as fast as possible. Yeah, I just wanted to share that shark here. Like I think that one looks so cool. Like something else? that's really nice about the morphs is that they manage to implement them in dungeon mechanics. So there's mechanics where you're, for example, at Duke Magna and you have to morph to get out in time of his AOE. There is mechanics like a two black where you have to be in a geyser, get thrown in the air, transform into a hawk to not take any fall damage. Or at like Rex Chimeras where you have to transform into hawk to dodge AOE attacks, go with the pilots upstairs to drop water off them. Like those morphs are essential and I think that they managed to get um, this system implemented in the gameplay. It is in the PvP, it is in everything. Makes it for me 10 times better than a regular mount system where you have like some time to mount, demount. Maybe while you're on there you cannot use all your skills. Like all of that feels really clunky compared to morphs. When you want to use your morphs efficiently, there's one more thing that you need to understand, and that is the stamina bar. So as you can see, while I'm flying here, my stamina bar is getting deducted. As soon as my bar is deducted, my move speed will be lower. Now I am in a combat situation, see, I am drawing aggro, my stamina bar will slowly refresh, and if I change now into the morph, you see, I got hit and instantly my stamina bar is decreasing. So they made it that you cannot use the morph in fights to get away. You always have to get your stamina ready. See now my stamina is ready and I can run again. And since I'm not receiving any damage, it was filling up. Now I receive damage and it's going down again. So always make sure that your stamina bar 
is ready. The next thing you need to understand is that stamina is also used for hooks. So you see right here, it was deducting my stamina. So when you're like running away, always make sure that you're staying at a comfortable stamina level so you can take hooks, especially in PvP. Because the stamina bar is also used to dodge fury attacks. If I'm using this, you see, I will deduct um, stamina if I'm using my block. So all overall, a good stamina management makes you a way better player. If you're flying, you can also press spacebar again to be elevated a little, little bit higher in the air. And this is really valuable in some dungeons to actually pass obstacles and stuff like this. Another thing that you can do with all morphs is speed them up so they are going faster. This is also what you are leveling here. You see this dash morph acceleration rate 10% increase. This is um, what you are leveling. And if this is when you are using your morph and you're pressing shift again, you will then get that little speed boost that you just saw right here. And this speed boost can also be really valuable. And you should always use it to navigate faster, especially in the water, because water will not deduct any stamina itself. So you can always go with the speed boost to get the stamina deducted and use it to navigate faster. And similar to army toys, you will find a info mark here over the morphs that you can click and it will explain you exactly how to get them. Yeah, this was the video. If you still have any more questions, let me know. As always, I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.